Welcome everyone to Ugly Retro Girls Play Ugly Retro Games, the super late edition. Hello, hello. It is with, not my fault this time. With your host, Selfie Travia and Devs G. I deny everything. Okay, this time we are late for bi- because of bicycles for realsies. Because okay, this... we, would, we will talk about why you are late later after we cue the theme song. Okay, fine. Cue the theme song. This week, uh, Igor had to work late, and then we went to the bicycle shop for to install a fancy bicycle rack on the back of the car, so that I no longer have to shove my bicycle in the boot and have bits of it fall off. Love to ride your bicycle. I love to ride my bike. But you don't love to shove it in the boot of your car. No. Do not. I mean, the bell broke off because the 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 dinger oh, no. for the bell broke off when we shoved it in the car the first time, and so now instead of dinging the bell by pressing the little button, I like flick it with my fingernail. <laughs> ding 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 ding. No, to so make the dinging off. sound with my fingernail, <laughs> I just like smack it. Ding 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 ding. Yeah, it's yes. not. Conducive <laughs> to productivity. No, it's not. So, I feel like we should talk about your fabulous hair. Why? Because it's okay. different, and the last time I changed my hair, I had to talk about it. Okay, so I went to the hairdresser yesterday because the. Well, I, I normally go down to the hairdresser in town. Um, because they they have trainee hairdressers that come in and out of their salon quite regularly, and so this, um, uh, so I usually offer my services as a hair model for to receive a cheap haircut from the trainee hairdresser because I'm a cheap person who doesn't want to spend money on haircut. So yesterday, the the poor girl, I think it was the first time that she had. Um, Done, done. Um, a, a haircut on any on a real person because she, um, the first instruction that her trainer gave her was part the hair down the center, right? And uh, show me how you part the hair before you cut it. You know, and her part and section the hair. So she took out her little comb, with her shaky hand. She parted my hair very carefully down what she thought was the center of my head. And then she combed carefully one side, and then she combed carefully the other side. And after about 10 minutes of combing, because she was very, she was like parting, and then, oh, it's wrong, and then do again, and then, oh, no, it's wrong, and then, oh, ah, then comb, 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 and then try again. So after she carefully parted my hair, the trainer looked at, took one look and said, yeah, uh, that's not the center of her head. And then he walked over, uh, did this to the parting that she had made, you know, to 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 get rid of it, and then uh, he sort of uh, flicked the hair to the, to the side, and then it was dead straight down the center of my head, and he was like, "This is the center of your head," and literally it was like maybe two mm off 
two mm away from the parting that she had made. It was that close. He was like, "You need to, do you need to measure her down? You have to look down the center of her face, um, you know, and aim for the bridge of the nose. Which, by the way, I have no nose bridge. So the girl and whatever part of the nose that I did have was covered by a mask. So the poor girl was like, "The bridge of the what? What bridge? What? What? The bridge of what bridge? The, this." There's a bridge. That's what. And then she, then she sort of went into like this, like a, <laughs> um, a repeat herself stage of but 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 bridge, but bridge, but but what, but what, 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 what the bridge, what bridge? And then after a little, after a little bit of that, the guy just ignored her and said, "Just do it again." And then then she spent another ten minutes parting the center of my head. So, so this haircut that I have, like, let me take off my. Let me take off my, my headphones so that you can see it. Okay. This took her two hours to do. Oh no! I know the poor girl, she was like, <laughs> there's a shaky hand, there's a shaky call with my. <laughs> and then, so the instruction that the, the, the poor, that, that, that the guy gave to this poor girl for my fringe is. Uh, when you're cutting somebody's fringe, do not exceed the corner of the eye. Oh no, this is really you can see that she, the yes, you can see that eye. she has done that. She has exceeded the corner of my eye by a lot. And the 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 thing is that she was her hand was shaking so much when she was cutting my my fringe. It was just like like this, and then and then she got to the so she got to one side. And she was like, uh, and then and then she was like, oh stop, <laughs> and then her trainer was like. Yeah, um, now you just have, to, I guess, now you should just even it up on the other side <laughs> because oh, that's no. all he can do. So, actually, I think, let me just take off my headphones and show you. I think what she intended to do was to have my hair a bit more like this on my face. Can you see? Yes. Yeah, if I, if I brush my hair forward, you can see what her original intention was. Oh, like if those I, cute K-pop it, um, girls. What, to cover the sides of my eyes, yeah. So to to look a bit less like a melon, you know. That's like Lucy Van so, so now she's given me this cute little melon-headed hairstyle. So in order to make it work, I now do this. Oh, that works. That's cute. And then it looks more cuter. Yeah, that is cute. Oh, the poor girl. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's fine. I mean, I mean, it's a free haircut. You know. I mean, I gave her ten ten pounds for her trouble. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but yeah, and, and you know, and and then after that, she was after that. I think she was quite proud of the shape that she did um towards the side of my head. So she took many, many, many pictures of that side of my head, for, yeah. and the back of my head for her portfolio. But she did not take many pictures of the front of my head because she was not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yes, Renfield says that I now look like the auntie. The auntie who lives next door to the hero and always comes out of her house to scold him. Renfield <laughs> <laughs> is so mean. <laughs> Hence, ain't got no cash, ain't got, got no style, ain't got, got no guy to, to make, make you smile, smile. but don't, don't worry. worry. Be, Be happy. happy. Cause when you worry, your face will frown And that will bring everybody down And don't worry Be happy And don't worry, be happy now Okay, so... Well, I... So hence, this is the haircut that I have Yeah Just make the best of it I did hair modelling because I used to live next to the Shwakov studio and yes. it it was free, and my hair grows back. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the, basically what I think yeah. about hair modeling. But also my hair it's free, grows, and then your hair grows back. So my you know, you're helping at, somebody out as well at a stupid rate, right? Yeah. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yes, I just cut that this was... hair. Exactly. You know, yeah. so because my hair grows back at a ridiculous rate, um, I I I used to go to to the Shwakov next door and I remember that I kept going back until one day they burned a hole in my head and then I never oh. went back again 
but that was that was because um they decided to to color your hair for the first time, isn't it? Yeah, she was uh coloring. I know she was highlighting my hair. She was practicing yes. hair highlights. Yeah. Uh, so which you had never had done before. Yeah. So it's already a problem if 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 you're doing it on somebody who's not had their hair highlighted before. Yeah. I mean, they were very excited to do it on somebody who had never had their hair highlighted before. And then I said, "Is it supposed to feel burninaty?" And she's like, "Oh, there should be a tingling sensation." I'm like, "No, there's a burning sensation." And then she was like, "No, no, it's fine." And then after they cooked my head, they took the foil off and just all this blood just trickled down my face. And then they were like, "And then no! she was like, she was like, ah, ah." And then the instructor came over and was like, "No, no it's fine. Just douse it in milk. Douse it in milk." And then put me in the bowl and washed my head out, and then yeah. put the thing on it. And then I had like a massive, um, burnt patch. Yeah. And then a bleach burn. A bleach burn. But the other thing that was really hilarious about this whole situation was that, um, before it was our turn, there were two things I took away. First was the burn. Second was the <laughs> the large amount of bribery that they gave me for burning my head, and mum mum came to my uh, to my house soon after she came to visit, and she was like, "Why do you have so much shampoo?" Because like my whole <laughs> yeah. bathroom was just like cans of hairspray and shampoo and hair products, and she was like, "Why did you buy so many bottles of shampoo?" I'm like, no, it's free. And then, uh, the other thing that was really funny about that whole situation was that, uh, before the hair cutting, they put us in this green room, right? And there were like I was sitting there with these professional model ladies, and there was like a whole spread of food, and I was just like, "Rom rom rom rom," because I'm a poor university student. So I'm just like yes. stuffing my face with like the beef pie and the and the salad and this and these and these like model ladies are just looking at me with this like awestruck yep. faces. Like What? You can do that? Is I think basically what they're talking about. Yeah. You can do that? Yeah. They were like So anyway, that's the story of how I burnt my head. Okay. Sorry for your loss. Okay, here we go to the game. Yes, let's go to Zork. Let's go to Zork. Oh yeah, now share the screen of Zork. Share and then press the button. There we go. The button. Okay. So we are in the plaza under the arch and we have Chell under arch. Now... I had a think about this while we were away, and I realized that maybe we didn't give Chell enough. Yes, I got a I got an email time. from um from Willow Knight, uh, to say that that uh, when we were under the arch, we did not give her enough time. Uh, you know, we did not go far enough into the future to yeah. allow Chell to actually discover the truffle okay so we were yeah. on the actual right place all right before we start all this don't forget to do the recap who's doing the recap you're this doing week? the recaps oh. your turn it's your turn am i doing the recap i've completely forgotten what we've done okay never mind right uh last episode uh last gameplay uh we were in the gray fields of frotson we got carried away by a tornado and went to the beautiful city of Froon. In all its technicolor glory, and then we, yes, and then when whilst we were there, we rescued this the little city of Froon from the ginormous boot, and then they gave us, uh, they gave us a gift of a key which we used to scare away the um, corbies in the in the gray fields of Frozen in order to get a compass rose. This was actually what we did. But we did this many times because Selfie insisted on restoring, and also we accidentally left Chell and Froon the first playthrough, so we had to go back and get her. And, uh, so we did. 
And then now that we have got um, the compass rose, it allows us to control the winds and we have managed to fly on the back of a pterodactyl uh, over to towards um, the north of the River Fee, which if you may remember, there is some sort of magical helmet there. We've discovered the use for the hourglass um, at this uh, ruined city that is north of the River Fee. And now, and then, um, we go, you can turn the glass, go into the past, watch uh, a prince get get murderized, um, and then... We kept can, watching him get murderized Yes, we times. kept watching this over and over again, because, um, right, so uh, Selfie had this idea that if, after we see the prince get murderized, we can take our chocolate tr truffle, throw it into the place where the princess head is lying and then go into the go back to our normal time and get Chell to dig up the chocolate truffle but Chell refused to dig up the chocolate truffle so we kept restoring the game and trying it again and again I mean we kept restoring the game so that we could take Chell across the bridge and uh, and then uh, we kept throwing the chocolate truffle and then going back to get Chell and then the chocolate truffle will no longer be there we, we it was very confusing so um, we did this so many times that Selfie lost her mind and and became like a uh, like a crazy jellyfish of anger and just just a sudden rest after multiple restores we sort of became a little bit demented and we had to stop the game before we lost our mind completely and now we are here let's see our stats no change no change okay. Right, okay, fine. well, we're under the arch, so let's just turn the hourglass and go into the future and hope that Shell can dig up this stupid truffle. Okay, fine. Right, let's hope that the truffle is still there. I, I remember that we went it's away from It's an eternal truffle. It should be fine. Okay, fine. All right, I think we go further, further north. Go further north. Okay, frost. Keep going, frost. Yeah, the, the, the ground is hardened. There's an impenetrable is too hard? layer of glacial lice. No, it's too hard. A metal and glass of... zoom still not great. Racial boulders, no. Nope. Oh, here we okay, go. here we go. Patient <clears throat> centuries have eroded much of the topsoil from the landscape. Loose charred earth stretches away in every direction. You see Chell under the arch. Come on, okay. Chell. Let's look in our thing. We do not have the chocolate truffle. So Okay, I remember that we actually threw the chocolate truffle into or one of our many restores. We actually threw the chocolate truffle in, went off to get Chell and come back. And then um, when we came back, the chocolate truffle no longer existed. Uh. I'm a bit worried that this is the that this is what has happened. We had to get another truffle. No, I think that we have to <laughs> restore the game. Um, before we threw the truffle to, in the trench. Before we threw the truffle in, and then went back to get shell. Okay, let's see what I can do. Because we no longer have the chocolate truffle, right? Oh, goodness. This is all the way back. Where? How far back is it? Uh, I don't know. Let me just try blowing the whistle. Wait, hang on. Okay. Wait, hang on. We don't even have a truffle in this one. No, this is before we got the truffle. Okay, no, go back we... to the truffle. Okay, let me just try the other restore. Okay. Because we have a few. Give me a second. Alright. What was the name of the okay, last Okay, while you're doing restore? that. I wrote it down somewhere. Because okay. I'm smart like that. Okay, I have the chocolate truffle in this one. Okay, now we have the chocolate truffle. Great. Do we have Chell? Yes. Where? Okay, good. Alright, now we do it. Now we go into the past. Watch the guy get murderized. Um, and then and then we, we see what we can do. Are, okay. Are we, is he getting murderized? Okay, here we go. 
He's wearing a fabulous helmet. Let's take him a song for getting murderized. Okay. Um, At last we meet Prince Fu. You're gonna die. Oh, Fu is dead. The age of Morphe has begun. Yay. Okay, let's throw the truffle into the trench. Okay, here we go. This this should work. Okay. Great. Let's go to the future. <laughs> Let's go. Go to the future. We go to the future and pick up somebody's head because we don't care about... Oh, yes! The top half of the hourglass is almost empty. Shell leaves the arch, runs its nose over the loose earth, snuffling hungrily. Then it pours a deep hole in the ground, roots up dirty truffle, and swallows it whole. Minx, minx, minx! A minx hole is visible on the ground. Inside it, you see a helmet. Finally! You take the helmet out of the minx hole. Okay, wear a helmet. Great. You lower the filament onto your head. Your armor class just went up. Your intelligence just went up. Yay, we're smarter! Ooh! What? Does this uh, does this mean that we can look into the, the scry stone? We can look into the smi! Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's save first before we look into the smi in case it brings us onto a, a ridiculous place. Okay. Alright. Ooh! You fix. Your gaze deep within the crystal and watch its swirling depths coalesce into the image of a warlock standing before a seamless wall of stone. He mutters the word Makuga and a door-like outline appears which he pushes open. The vision fades as he steps inside. The butterfly is closing with the goblet. Okay, I, I, I suspect that that's the a thing that we need to do last. Okay. Because... I think that we need to go and do that castle that we saw okay. first. All right, I'm going to save everything. here. Can we still pick up Chell? I'm going to pick up Chell, but I'm going to go south, pick up Chell, open the umbrella, and jump off. Oh, okay, cool. Because we... that way we don't have to use a pterodactyl ride. All right. Okay, fine. But then we will never return the pterodactyl to its own time. I don't think you it's can. Not, I don't think you, it's possible, is it? No, not because possible. we tried that. I, I tried that while you were away, and the pterodactyl won't go under the arch. Oh, okay, so you oh, so it won't come. Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't restore take... because I didn't what? take Chell. Yeah, take Chell. Oh, for oh no! Uh, oh, because we've got the close umbrella. Let's, can, what can we put in our pack? Do we need the spade? Oh, Wait, geez. no, do we need the spade? Because we used it to dig up the helmet. No. Yeah. What the? Oh, are we wearing the. Oh, we're wearing the helmet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can we put things into the hoodie goodie and then put the hoodie goodie back in the pack? And then put the goblet inside it. What? What's inside the hoodie goodie? Oh, the lantern's already in there. <laughs> Darn. saves we we managed to put the lamp uh the lamp and the girdie in the pack with the goblet so now we're not carrying as many things okay but our load is still too heavy mm. uh oh uh so anything else we can just wear um, is there anything else that we can get rid of? Do we need the puce key? 
Uh, if we drop the I feel key. like we can use the scroll of protection. What, on our helmet? On our whole body. But we haven't bought the armor yet. I mean, we no longer need the hourglass. But it's a thousand sock bits! We had to sell it back to the old auntie so that we can buy armor. Okay, fine. Um, right, what's the clear potion that we have? <clears throat> oh, we don't know what it is. Okay, you know what? There's one way to find out! No! Oh, we're gonna die. An uneasy feeling oh, creeps into your soul. It's a portion of forgetfulness. Why? How Look you know at our that? map. Uh oh. Oh, you're right. We forgot what was northeast. So we don't need the potion. Oh, why? Because we have got a. No. Oh, do you want to forget? Because we've got a scroll. We've got a scroll of forgetfulness. We've got a scroll of recall. Oh, okay. I mean, technically. Oh. Okay, well, we that... dropped the potion and we still can't carry Chell. Okay. Right. I don't. I. I suspect that we. Uh, I suspect that you can't. Uh, I, I was wondering if we would forget this problem. Um, what can we drop? Okay, if we're going to drop the, 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 the forgetfulness portion, then we should just drop the scroll of recall as well. And the puce key. Okay, so we take Chell. No, we still can't take Chell because there's not enough space in the pack. Can we drop the Skull of Recall? We don't need it because we've got rid of the Forgetfulness Potion. Hmm. Alright, listen. Uh, put Spade in the pack because there isn't room. It's clearly there's not enough room for anything. Right. Uh, do we need a spade for anything? Yes, we do. Uh, Are you sure we need a spade? Okay. Do we? We definitely need the lantern later on in the game because it's stuck. we're going to go after an Urgru, right? Okay. You know what? We'll drop the spade. Uh, because we're jumping off the bridge. I've saved, so let me just blow the whistle to see how many whistle blows we have left. And then restore. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. So, we've dropped the spade. So if we need the spade, we have to uh, come, come back, back here via pterodactyl, pterodactyl, get the okay, spade. Fine. I better yeah, take this. It, as long as long as we okay, we can we can actually we can actually leave the, the place on the turret that tells back. As long as we don't leave the square that we're yeah. on. We can get back to so the So I'm just gonna drop the spade chill. in the glare. So, no 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 no. That's not where we that's not uh, I, This I is a good place to drop it because if we come on the pterodactyl, that's where the pterodactyl lands. Are you sure? Roughly, yeah. We can just keep going up and down, up and down until we find uh until it lands in a nice place. No, no, no. I was going to say that um I was going to say that why don't we um okay why don't we just take the spade, at, uh ride the pterodactyl without Chell, and then come back and get the spade. I uh, sorry, come back and uh and get Chell uh, because Chell will be wherever it is that we land. Chell can't cross the bridge. I know that. We're not going to go on the bridge. We're going, We're on, going the on the bridge. Why are we going on the bridge? Because that way I'm saving myself a pterodactyl ride. 
Oh, okay. So fine. we have two blows. All right. Okay. Okay. Fine. Never mind. If this all goes to pot, we can just do another speed run another day. Wee! See, Chell's great. Okay. I suspect we need to go and sell things to the old auntie now. Yep. Let's let's sell the hourglass to her. I'm tired of it. And then let's sell her the butterfly. <laughs> I don't think she will buy the butterfly. Um, uh, a sweet little piece says that she that they have successfully sold the caterpillar to the to the old woman. Okay, let's just sell the puce key to her. Oh wait, we had to... Oh. <laughs> Shush. Okay. Oh, cannot. So, cannot. Never mind. Let's just... Let's just sell her other things. That's okay. Why, why are you doing this? Oh, in case we need hourglass next time. Oh, 500 Zork mitts. There you go. Great. I'm turning into a caterpillar. Open. <laughs> the old woman gives you a bitter glare. Yay! Oh, you're kidding. Oh, she did actually buy it. Okay, let's sell her the goblet. Do we need the goblet? Do we need to go to the fields We might of need the goblet, so we'll keep it. Okay. Alright, so uh, what else can we sell her? We can sell her the hourglass. I don't We can sell her the SME. Are you sure we don't need the SME? We have. No, we, we might need the SME. Okay, actually, we I'm just going to. Secret... Actually, no. We know the, the, the secret of Makuga now. Yeah. So we can. I guess you can sell her the SME. 50 Zotmids for the SME. Right. Do we need the clear potion and the scroll oh, of people? <laughs> Darn it. Yo, put, right. the, put, the, put the umbrella in the gurdy. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. Aw. Darn it. Never mind. Maybe we can put the umbrella in the in the magic <laughs> in the, pond later. In the magical pond later. Okay, just leave it in the shop. I don't want to carry it around. Okay. Uh, uh I'm okay. going to the. Right. Can we carry now with all that we have? Can we carry Chell? We oh. We're we already carrying to, right? Chell. Where are you going? I'm going to the to the armor shop. Oh, good. Then we can uh, buy the armor and then use the scroll protection. That would be one less thing that we're carrying. Okay, so is the plate mail or the scale mail do we want? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Okay, let's use the where the plate mail. Ah! Chell is as still as death. I think oh, we killed Chell. Why? Chell is laying at our feet. But she says it's still as death. No, she's just sitting still. Okay, fine. Oh! We can Yay. either wear the cloak of stealth or put on... Or no, 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 we put on the plate mail and throw the cloak back over it. So we are wearing oh, both. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, great. Now we can use the scroll of protection. Jukes! Oh, look at that. Cool. What's our... What's our... Okay. Um, there isn't enough room in pack. Okay, cool. What's in our... Uh, what's our... What's our... Our um, stats now? Oh... We are so armory. Whoa! Our armor class is 
Nothing what are we missing? Can touch us. Why do we have one percent less? I don't know. I think okay, that's the mind. maximum. I really think right, we then. killed Chell Debs. Why? Because she's not squirming when we pick her up. What? She doesn't move. She's dead. What? When did we kill her? When we jumped over the bridge, I think she died. No. Yeah. Can we go stick her inside the pond? Oh, good idea. But it said before a child is playing at your feet. Oh no! <laughs> Can we kill Chell? Oh. Uh, I knew I should have gone under the pterodactyl. Okay. Uh, what should we do? It's too late. We, I saved after we jumped off the bridge. Okay, can we go down weapon shop? What? Go down uh, the description of the weapon shop and see. Chell's dead. Oh no! I think we killed Chell um, permanent. Uh... Permanently? Are you sure she's dead? Yeah. Oh no, Chell! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chell. Oh, oh no! Oh, precious Minx! <laughs> oh no! Chell! Oh, okay, so do you sorry, want to do a speed Chow. run at some we're, point? We're so sorry, Chell! I mean, we don't okay. really need Chell anymore, but I feel bad. Alright, okay. Um, let's put Chell down here for now. Let's go. Okay, we can do a speed run another day in order to res to not kill Chell. Yeah, right. sorry. Yeah, okay. We'll do a speed run another day in order to not kill Chell. But right now, let's go and explore um, what we need so that we don't have to. So that we'll know next time whether or not we need to carry Chell around with us after after okay. um, after they've helped us with the truffles. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Chell. Okay, just rest here. Rest down here in the weapons shop. I uh, feel horrible. I'm sorry, Chell. I feel sad about Chell now. We spent so long trying to look after her. And then we killed her when we jumped off the cliff. Like I a stupid. didn't mean to kill her. <laughs> no. Nobody ever means to kill anyone. No, some people do and they're horrible people. Oh really? Oh no, naughty people. We've already bought the plate mail. Oh, we still have the butterfly. <sighs> oh, we still have the puce key as well. What's going on? Oh, I see, because we... we I tried to restore back. this to bring Chell back to life, but it didn't work. Oh, because she's already dead. Okay, fine. Have we bought everything there is to buy? Hang on. Okay, let's see. Uh... Yep. So we've bought the plate mail, so I'm going south. Yep. Where are we going now? Magic shop. Oh. Uh... 
potion of death. That's the last one. That's the 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 only the only potion that we don't have. I'm quite sure we bought the old the the clear potion from the old woman, didn't we? No, we didn't. We found it in the in the ruins. Okay. Okay. Well, presumably the potion of forgetfulness and the scroll of recall are the same. We still need the rose, right, to get over the wall. Um, the potion of recall just uh allows us to teleport somewhere. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it it. Oh. Well, anyway. If we want to go to the castle, we need to get into the gondola, so I'm going to the gondola. Oh, don't we need to just fly to the castle on the pterodactyl? Uh, um, yes, but uh, Wait, can we not just I don't fly? know where the castle is in relation to anything. Well, we have that clever little map that Bifu Kari showed us last week. Fine. Let's open the clever little map that Bifu Curry showed us last week. Yes. As soon as I find where I put the clever <laughs> little map that Bifu Curry showed us last week. No, that's a picture of delicious snacks. Oh, okay. Uh, no, more delicious snacks. Why are you looking at pictures of delicious snacks? That's a chair. I'm trying to find. I don't. Uh... What is happening? you <laughs> That's a chair. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a picture these... of the map, but there's no. Why I... do you have all I these can't random things? Preview. Okay. I can't preview. Yeah, I, okay. I I think I've got a picture of the map. Okay, fine. So all you right, just tell. Me. I'm gonna blow the whistle, Wait, and you tell me where to fly. First, I need to open the picture. Okay. All right. I think I've got the picture of the map here. All right. Unfortunately, you cannot see. Can I show, show my screen to you? Uh, no, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see. Where are we now? I am up All right. okay. above Miss Nearport. Okay. I think if you're up above Miss Nearport, you can go uh, west and then... But point, point rose west, point rose west. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now we're over the jungle. All right. What did you do? I pointed oh, the rose walked. east. Oh, and then you could go west. Okay. Yeah. So I think if you point uh, the rose... Uh, east again, then you can try going west again. Okay. Uh, it's impenetrable cloud, so southwest? Yeah, okay, fine. Go southwest. Okay, now we are go... over the mountain side. Uh, okay, I think uh, then we can go uh, northwest. Can we point the rose. <clears throat> We are now over the yes. castle. Okay, now now we are over the castle. So can we land? <gasps> There's a Morgia bush here. Okay, you're in a private garden enclosed by the high walls of a castle and guarded by a brooding statue of a brogmoid. There's a Morgia bush here. Guess what we don't have. What do we... Ah, oh, frick! Okay, can we go back and pick up the spade and then come back? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I had to restore because we couldn't go up because we had to hide in the ball gear bush and there was only one chance to go up. Okay, 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 okay. Don't... I just oh, have no, to rebuy everything. <laughs> I, oh no, we have to stop doing this. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, resell everything. Oh, poor Chell. I should sing another dirge for Chell. Chell, you were a good thing. We're so sorry you're dead. I'm sorry, Chell, that we 
tree did something dumb and dropped you on your head. <laughs> now you are dead. Poor dead child. <laughs> put me in Gandhi. Actually, that's not a bad idea. And just turn her crying left. She's probably too big to put in the Gandhi. Hey, it's worth a try. Alright, fine. <laughs> so, so, so I got a filler. Uh, okay. Put... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Whoa! it works! Let's see if this works. Oh no, you cannot bring someone back from the dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chell. We tried to revive actually, you with the Actually, party. hang on. What? Maybe I turned the crack the other way. What, put into the future? No, she'll be gross then if you do that. It's worth a try. Okay. Uh. Nope, she's dead. Okay, never mind. Alright. Okay, we don't worry, Chell. Don't worry, Chell. We will revive you. Know you know what we uh, should have done? We should we just, just put Chell in the gurdy to begin with and see what happens. And she could have been protected no, by the goody. No, she wouldn't have liked that. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't think she'd I like feel, being I feel goody. bad. Shut up. Okay, let's... Can we just... Uh, right. Don't worry, child. We'll revive you in our, in our speed run. Our second speed run. I feel bad. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to get to the stupid boutique. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Uh, fine. <clears throat> um, okay, right. I'll, I guess while you're doing that, I'll entertain the masses while <laughs> you're getting us back to pick up the stupid spade. Okay, look. Uh, I keep collecting these tiny little creatures that appear on my, that on my desk. Because the children come and use a computer and they leave whatever toy that they are carrying on my desk. Hello, I am Golden Spider-Man. Hello, I am a small mouse. How are you, small mouse? I'm fine, I was feeling fine until I saw them kill Chell. Stop reminding me about my <laughs> failures. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> Here's a, here's a, I saw them kill Chell too! Look, <laughs> I've got a backpack! If we had put Chell into the backpack, maybe they would. she would have survived! I don't know about that, small koala. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean! What we need to do is get Superman to fly around the sun and turn back time so that we can revive Chell. <laughs> Superman will never come because we have got the kryptonite. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Why do we have the kryptonite? I don't know. It just appeared inside on the top of my shelf. It's inside a glass case. I guess it's good to have a weapon against Superman when he comes to destroy us. <laughs> so, why would Superman come and destroy us? Oh, it's uh, because well, obviously, murder us from killing Chell. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're now over the bridge on the pterodactyl. You can stop reminding me of my failures. <laughs> Have we done it? Have we picked up the spade? Yes. Now we're over the roadway. Alright, 
right, while, while you're doing that... Uh, okay, now we're over the pressure. castle. Now we're over oh. the castle. We're going down. <coughs> Done. <coughs> Voices can be heard okay. somewhere in the distance. Okay, oh, no, do we not you're in a private garden enclosed by the high walls of a castle and guarded by the brooding statue of a brogmoid. A pterodactyl is fluttering its wings. A saddle rests on its back. There's a moggy bush here. Ouch! You push your way behind the thorns. One of the unseen voices laughs harshly. The pterodactyl scratches the ground with its claws. Can we dig up the root of the mogia bush over here? <coughs> you hear a chorus of unpleasant giggles. I'll be in my garden, calls one of the voices. Oh, take, take more gear, take root. Oh, reaching carefully to avoid the thorns, you yank a loose root out from under the more gear bush. A whirlpool of twinkling light forms in the garden. Something is beginning to materialize. The pterodactyl beats its okay. wings restlessly. Eat the more gear root. You gnaw thoughtfully on the more gear root and a newfound vitality bubbles in your veins. Your strength just went up. A twinkling whirl resolves into a furry creature. Her face is turned away at the moment, but there's a flat tail sticking out from under her long red gown. The pterodactyl oh. takes one good look at the furry creature and decides that he doesn't want to stick around anymore. Before you can think or move, you find yourself abandoned and alone, with a cowardly shadow soaring out of sight overhead. A furry creature is preening herself nearby. I guess we wait. The furry creature turns around, revealing her dark, beady eyes and fleshy bill. She's a platypus! Oh, there was something about platypuses, isn't it? They made the whistle. The whistle was platypus wrought. Oh, yes. Okay, so hello. Do we say hello? Uh... Save the game first. <clears throat> hello, platypus. The platypus, the platypus glances around, around her garden, listening intently. Anxious moments pass, then, hearing nothing further, she turns her back with a shrug. Platypus okay, is what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Wait. Do we have some, are we supposed to, to just wait until... Just wait. Okay. The platypus oh, steps over to the statue, glancing around to be sure she is alone. She opens a secret compartment and pulls out a crystal jar. The closed jar appears to have been carved from a solid block of crystal. The platypus opens the jar, takes out a circlet, and blows a silver bubble. You watch as the bubble flattens Ooh. into a round mirror, rotating slowly on its edge. Oh, wow. Mirror is suspended in mid-air. The platypus okay. is preening herself. She's clutching a crystal jar in her paw. I guess right. we just wait then. I guess we just watch. I see. The platypus stops the spinning mirror and turns it until it faces her. Gazing into it, she whispers, Mirror, mirror, in the air, who in Quendo is most fair? Oh dear. The floating mirror shimmers with the hollow voices, Your highness once was fair, tis true, but morning star is woo woo woo. This woo, naughty woo. mirror. Okay, <laughs> alright. <laughs> So I guess we had to find this morning star um, platypus and release Liar! her. Cries the platypus, bursting the mirror of an angry swipe. She oh, starts no. the crystal jar back in the statue, just... blows a silver whistle and dissolves in a whirlpool of colour. Oh, she also just, has a I... whistle. I just remembered something. Yeah. Um, that uh, we had a silver ornament that we sold to the old woman. You know, but it, it yeah. was a cheap plastic ornament with silver bits. I know, but we don't we don't know what it's for. She bought it for such a low price, and we didn't use it. So I I, I wonder if we need it sometime in this place. Okay, never mind. Okay. <clears throat> uh, see. Okay, open, open statue. <clears throat> okay. I guess that's all we can do. Can we, we not make the mirror? Why would we need the mirror here? I guess Where we do can we need the mirror, mirror then? Wait, what? Okay. 
Is this all we're supposed to do at the royal garden? Oh, well, I saved. We can climb a statue, <clears throat> I guess. Um, okay, that's the cave. Why don't we all do the mirror thing and see, and see what happens? Hey. <clears throat> Hello, Mira. <laughs> okay, look in mirror. The mirror reflects on your words of silence. You see yourself reflected in the mirror. I don't think it's very helpful. Oh, so we can't do anything in this mirror? Oh, you can turn the mirror. How does this help? I, wonder. I don't know. You just can. Because it spins, right? Uh, yeah. Eat mirror. Okay, so I guess you cannot do anything. Uh. Oh, the whistle of summoning has been destroyed. We've got the jar, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we can use the mirror for. I have a plan. Okay. It's a stupid plan, but it's a plan. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see your plan. Golden Spider-Man judges you. Okay. So, according to the manual and instruction stuff... Oh, where's the other instruction stuff? Hang on. Oh. Oh, dear. What have you done? I seem to have lost the Beyond Zork manual... Oh, wait, hang on. Here it is. Is this it? it was... Yes. According to the Beyond Zork instruction instructioner, uh, yeah. Urgru Urgru. Urgru Urgru. Urgru is skilled in black sorcery and fierce sunlight. Oh, if okay. we're going so into what? a so dark place, use... the lamp won't be any good, but we can take the sunlight with us with mirrors, like in that show. Um, oh, you mean like in um, <laughs> like in Indiana Jones? More like I was thinking of Legend, but Indiana Jones works as well. Okay. Legend with Fine. Tom Cruise, he destroys the the evil dude with a mirror. Yes, because Very the good. sunlight reflects on the mirror and shoots and then Tim he Curry. Melts it. Okay, fine. And then so Tim Curry that. dies, <clears throat> sort of. Tim Curry, you will never die, Tim Curry. Okay, so I guess uh, we've we've got all the we've we've eaten all, all the things that we can possibly eat in order to be <clears throat> as strong as we possibly can. I it? mean, we're still a fee, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, we've improved our armor and we've got the best weapons and we've got something that can help us to um, yeah fix ourselves. All right. Okay. Okay. Shall are we ready to go into? Oh, we still got the Mogia root. Well, we chewed on it. Did we just. Do we still need it then? Nope. It says that the virtue appears to be spent. Okay, Maybe I, we I can sell it just... to the old lady. Well, on the way to the wall, is it? Yeah. Okay, fine. Worthless. Oh, oh. We ate all the specialty <clears> of the root. <throat> Okay, fine. Let's like drop it then. No, do we still need a spade? No. Okay. Oh, fine. Worthless. Oh. Okay, I I think I still think that we need that little trinket from back from her, the snowflake. Not the sofa, sorry, the um the ornament. 
I don't think so, but okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, it was Makuga, right? Yes. Makuga! Cool. Save. Alright, let's... Do we need a lamp? Daylight can see. Um, turn mirror. Wait, hang on, sorry. Turn west, right? Then it reflects this way. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay, maybe I just turn the mirror southwest. Yeah. Um, just let just, 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 just be. Nope. Okay, try it, uh, turn, turn nearer northwest. Uh, so spinning umbrella! What? Uh, it, spinning umbrellas are unlucky. Uh, it's a luck sucker. Um, oh. Take over. Did Ooh. it work? You wield the four-leaf clover. The step yeah. uh, pirouettes across the chamber, grazing the mirror. And it Pop. pops. Okay. Your four Let's leaf try... clover flickers green. Let's try attacking it with the four-leaf clover. I don't know if it works. I thought you were supposed to run. Kablam! The four-leaf clover explodes in a shower of green sparks. Squealing with fear, the step ladder retreats down the passageway. Your experience just went up. You achieved rank level 7 female peasant. I was like hitting it with the clover and now it's dead. I still think that we uh, did something wrong with the mirror. Okay, the mirror fine. mirror is gone. Okay, we have a mirror. Okay, so it faces southwest. Uh, the light is coming in from where? The light is coming in from the north... north west. From the northwest. So, yeah, technically if we face the mirror west, it should... It should bend the light southwest, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be working. Do we have so do we have to face it like southwest? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna turn the mirror in every direction and see what happens. Okay, turn okay. The mirror north. Probably not gonna do anything. Nope. Always be safe. Okay. Nope. Uh, southwest now. Have we... okay. I'm just turning it in every cardinal direction. Oh, do we need to draw two mirrors? Do we need to put one mirror outside? Okay. You can't put... You dip the circle no. in the crystal dollar dry out. Okay, no, so no. maybe do I need, need to, to do... Put... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, put a mirror here, yeah. It should be facing west. Oh. It, yeah, it should face west if it's gonna work. Nope. Nope. I, I guess we have to, maybe you have to just think simpler and just like, just angle the mirror down the passageway instead. We tried that. No, but the first mirror, we haven't angled it down the passageway. Okay. Nope. Ugh. I 
I feel very so stupid. Oh, is it because it's a shady wall? Do we have to go into the sunlight to do this? Good idea. Uh. I feel like it's not working. You know, I'm just going to turn on the lamp and go inside there, maybe... Okay, and just explore, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh! Quick! The lantern okay, emits now... a brilliant... Kablam! Oh, a oh, bolt of, of lightning. lightning. Zigzags down the passageway, strikes your lantern and blows it into little tiny bits. An evil chuckle echoes through the caverns. Okay, now maybe the, the mirrors will work. Nope. How is that gonna help? I don't know, I was just turning the mirror in every cardinal direction. But the... Okay. Ah. Oh. We're being attacked by a black cat. Oh, the black cat turns into a giant number 13! I hit it, now it's dead. Okay. I think we just Old need to... Oh, explodes in a shower of green sparks. Just in case. Okay, I... Alright, so, um, I don't think we have got the, the mirror the, the mirror here anymore. Because it, it yeah. got caught by the black cat. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like there's not enough. Maybe do we do we need to take out a tiny ornament, the shiny ornament? The mirror shimmers uncertainly for a moment. Oh, it's gonna pop soon. I see. Um. Okay. Uh, I think I know that we. It does sound like we've got the right idea, uh, with the with the mirror. We just have to, we haven't figured out how to use it though. Mm. We we've not been able to use it at all so far. Yeah, we need um, some light, sunlight. But it says daylight. Daylight streams in from. Oh, there we go. It's flexing dangerously. It won't last much longer. Okay, so they pop okay, after a while. So it says daylight can be seen beyond an opening therein. Oh, okay. So the daylight is actually in the opening. Uh, so you had to go uh, north, north, back, back Okay, north, a door-like opening is uh, visible in the northwest wall. So do we have to... Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, if we did... If we point it... Um, if we point the mirror, um, south, south, um, southeast, uh, I guess that will be facing the wrong direction though. No. We tried facing the mirror southwest before. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to turn the mirror in every cardinal direction and see what we can do. I thought you already did that. Uh, well... Okay. Mm. 
You know what? I think what happens is we just reflect the, the light down that corridor and then we blow another mirror. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so is it facing the right way? Turn, so if we just turn the mirror west, yeah. Nope. Didn't work. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, if we take out the, the shiny ornament. Well, we have the shiny ornament. Can we, we're, we're wielding the rabbit's foot. Can we... Uh, if we wield the silver ornament... Okay, now we now we try. Maybe we can aim. Maybe we can aim the silver ornament at the, at the darkness. Okay. Point. Nope. <laughs> point. Ornament at the thing. No point ornament. No. Okay, maybe. Okay. Uh, okay, we but now it's completely it. dark. So okay. All right. So. Uh -huh. Um. I think we've got the rab the, only the rabbit's foot left. Okay. Now we're gonna be eaten by a grill. Okay, um, right. I think we should stop for now anyway. Ah! Sorry. Yeah, Alright. We, uh, we've I already tried up. all of this. I give up. Okay. Okay, let's, let's stop for now. Let's stop for now. And anyway, we need to go back and get Charles. And, so. <laughs> and save Charles' life. And save Charles' life. Uh, and then, uh, then put her in a safe place. Yeah. We're okay. sorry, Chell. We didn't mean to kill you. We have didn't failed our precious you. mix. Okay. Updates. Yes. Updates. Uh, no updates from me this week, I'm afraid, because I have been exceedingly unproductive. Update here. This is my foot. What you done with it? Why does it look like that? <laughs> I went... To the podiatrist and uh, the podiatrist said all of the all of your foot is um, when you walk your big toes don't actually touch the ground well, that's bad so uh, my legs are now my Achilles tendon is under so much strain that my legs are really bowing uh -oh. because of the way that my feet are collapsing so she said I'm going to tape up your foot to force your big toe to touch the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. So she's taped up my foot uh, for the next four days. And then in two weeks time, I have to go back and uh, collect collect um, my new orthotics, which, were 3D print, which will be 3D printed. Oh, Igor has an update for me. Do you, Igor? Just your chair, Mr. Oh, Igor has an update. Hang on. Let us see what Igor's update is. Ah. Hello. Hello, Igor. Ta-da! Whoa! It is 
That's soup. a fancy chair. Fancy chair. Wow, it looks really comfortable. It's a Titan it's for your Labs. Secret Labs. Uh, secret Labs Titan gaming chair. Ooh, very like, fancy. Super fancy and comfortable. And it's cookies and cream colored. And it's nice. Wow. Looks oh, good. Oh, it comes with a special pillow. For relaxation time. Ah. ah. That looks very relaxing. Yes. Thank you, you Igor, be, for my be... special <laughs> chair. Oh, you wait. will be more productive. Yes. And, oh, it comes with a special access kit. Let us see what the access kit says. Yes, um, it's very important to me. Free two-year warranty extension. Redeem your complimentary two-year warranty extension. Get an additional two years of warranty by taking a photo of your Secret Lab chair and sharing it on Facebook, Instagram, or t- Twitter. And then okay. register. Alright, Don't... great. Okay, cleaning and maintaining your chair. Follow the usage instructions. Improper use can damage your chair or worse, cause injuries. Oh, don't we don't want to have an injury from yeah. sitting in a chair. That would so be very says, bad. Don't sweat on it. Constant exposure to perspiration is harmful to the leather top coating. I don't have a leather chair. I have a cloth chair. Oh, I did, so you can sweat in it all you want! I can sweat in it all I want. Avoid sitting bare-skinned. Uh, yeah, the build-up of uh, body oil to in friction from direct contact with skin affects the pH values and degrades the upholstery's protective clothing over time. So avoid sitting naked in your chair. Oh, what was yes, the point okay. of having a fancy chair if I can't sit naked in it? Why? Okay, I don't want to know. No naked gaming for you, then. Yeah. Keep away from <laughs> liquids. Any form of moisture is detrimental to the upholstery. Oh my goodness. So no eating and drinking while sitting Immediately in clean should, up any be doing spills that computer anyway. and only sit on your chair after you have completely dried from your shower. Don't okay. abuse it! Don't Even abuse the toughest chair. of chairs won't be able to stand up to rough usage. So keep it away from impact drops and sharp objects. Oh. Avoid using a hair dryer on the chair. I'm starting to wonder why they needed this rule. Keep pets away. Claws and teeth can damage upholstery and other soft parts. So do take care around your pets. Now that, that is besides the point. I was planning to like put a put my rabbits on it and sit with them. See. Don't stand on the chair. Do not use the chair with more than one person. Do not push it around when a person is sitting in it. They have these helpful little pictures of things that you should not do. I like the one where he's pushing his friend around and his friend is going, <laughs> his friend is going Wee! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> I guess they have sold this chair to many people and they have had people come in saying, my chair is broken. And why did you break your chair? Well, I was pushing my friend around in it and dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it broke. I like that one. Definitely <laughs> like a fun times. Yeah, fun times. But no fun times in the chair is basically, you know, yeah. what they're trying to tell you. No fun times in the chair. Chair is for sitting and doing work. Not for you to be fun timing and having corridor races. No corridor races with the chair. Yeah. So that is my secret lab, secret access kit. Okay. Oh, well done. <laughs> I do like, wee! That one wee! is fun. Wee! So fun! Okay. Yes. Uh, in right. right now, Rookery News, sorry. I know that you want to finish the show. Yes, right now, Rookery is... News. Uh, Cheryl, Ursula the Cheryl, or Cheryl the Ursula. Who... No, she's just Cheryl the Cheryl. No, we, we 
You decided for... to call her Ursula the Cheryl? I mean, okay, you have Ursula the Vernon and then you decided to call this one Ursula the Cheryl. No, you're getting confused now. The grey chicken is just called Cheryl. Okay, fine. Cheryl the chicken. Yes. Um, It looks like she's half a Hawaiian dot because she's starting to have um, lacing on her feathers, which is very attractive. So she's, she's got like a little... Chicken. Little um, black outlines on all of her feathers. So it looks like she has a little oh. shell pattern going on her. Um, oh, she's a pretty chicken. She's a pretty chicken. It looks like salt and pepper are now the de facto um, leaders of the chicken community. In that all the chickens follow them around. Are, like, are both salt and pepper hens? Uh, salt is a rooster and pepper is a hen. Okay, so you do actually have hens is basically we have got some hens we have two hens like con- that we, we confirmed, are sure confirm two hens we have confirm one hen and question mark one hen which is the confirm one hen the confirm one hen is Farah. Farah Fawcett is definitely a hen okay and she has the fabulous hair oh I see okay oh, well yeah well that's her name isn't it yeah Farrah was a crowing chicken. No. no. Ursula the Vernon was crowing is and Miles crowing? Morales yes. is now crowing. Okay. And Farrah is definitely a confirmed hen because she is not crowing. Because she is not crowing and she doesn't have the jowls. Oh, okay. She doesn't have the, the, the wattles. And between salt and pepper, you suspect that pepper is a hen. We suspect that pepper is a hen, but we cannot confirm that pepper is a hen. And then of your three tiny chicks... Well, they're not tiny anymore. Um, between Cheryl and unnamed chick number one and two, you uh, suspect that Cheryl is a hen. No. <coughs> between what? the three tiny chicks, we suspect that none of them are gender gender visible yet. Oh, really? I thought you thought I thought you just said that Cheryl is a hen. No, I said Cheryl is pretty. I didn't say Cheryl is a hen. No, no. Okay, she's just a pretty chicken. A pretty chick. <coughs> we have not confirmed yet because they haven't developed any uh, secondary sexual characteristics. They just okay, look like they're, chickens. They're, they're small, small little chickens. Yes. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, um, it turns out that the incubator that I want ever so much for the new eggs in March 2021... Mm. Um, we can't buy it yet because it's made in South Korea. Oh no! You just have to wait until trade routes are established again. Yes. First, you have to build a bridge from Australia to the mainland. Oh, we can't do that then... because of all the COVID. Yes. Once the COVID goes, you can build a bridge from Australia to the mainland and then you can get some camels... You know, and then start the silk trade route. We have from, from Australia to South Korea. No problem. Have you tried like have you tried using Google Maps to ask it to go from like the United States to France? At one point the instruction is swim across the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, that's right. That's what you can do. Swim. Yes. Swim, swim across the South Pacific Korea. Ocean. That's right. All the way to South Korea. Buy the incubator, wrap it in plastic, and then use it as a flotation device on the way back. No problem. And plus, you can use it to keep warm. Just turn it on. (laughs) The latent electricity of the sea will be enough to power it. (laughs) Now there is this song I wrote. I hope you learned it note for note, for note like good little children. Be happy. Be happy. Listen to what I say. In your life, expect some, some trouble. When you worry, you make it, it double. So don't worry. Be, be happy. happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Happy. Do, 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 do. Don't, Don't worry, be happy, happy now. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Not hysterical. Don't worry. Be happy. All right. Are Are you okay? Yeah. Because you were starting to sound a bit mad towards the end. It is. It does get a little bit hysterical towards the end when you're like, "Be happy. Be happy." Okay. All right. Yes. So from to us... all our friends in America, we send you all many, many good thoughts. I know we, we know that you are in a stressful place right now. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> well, this song is for you, America. You can do it. Okay. Uh... So from us here at Ugly Retro Girls, play ugly retro games now with new bad haircuts. <laughs> We hope that you guys keep healthy and happy, and not be too worried. Being a little worried is okay. Yeah, this is a little bit. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Don't worry, it'll be over. It'll be over soon. Pull it one, off like a bandaid. One way or another. Oh, I mean, yes, right. <laughs> I mean, go and vote like you know, good little children. Yeah, go and vote like good little children. Uh, we care about you, and yes. we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.